How you guys doing today? This your man, Veracity TT, and we are about to do some rooting and get some effects going with plugins and using the Behringer X32 effects. So you see the Behringer X32 got the equalizer, the dynamics, and the noise gate. You know, simple but straightforward. These are like your most important tools. So if you want to take some of that strain off your CPU and you want to use these effects, and you want to go ahead into the track and drop some plugins and use those effects, this is the tutorial for you. This time, instead of Pro Tools, we're using Studio One. So to make everything simple for you guys, I already went on ahead and saved the template in Studio One. Also, I have the same template that I use for Pro Tools here for the X32 up here for you to load as a scene so that you can get the correct rooting and everything. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I got the rooting set up right here. So let's talk about that first. So for inputs, right here in rooting, I'm using local 17 through 24. So that's where I'm going to get my um, final power from. But this tutorial really isn't for recording. Let's just say you already have recorded and you just want to mix using the effects. So with the Behringer X32, it's limited to 16 effects, which is the Ultranet. So over here at Ultranet, these are the channels that you can actually use, you feel me, with Behringer effects. I got it going from 1 through 16. As you can see, we're only limited with 16 tracks over here for the Ultranet. And Ultranet just means you want to be able to use this equalizer here, the dynamics, the noise gate, you know, all of these pre things um so you could treat your sound before it ever hits the computer before it ever you know before you use your plugins basically so you can use plugins and the behringer x32 say some of that cpu power right that's why we have this mixer so it can do things like that so what you want to do is you see how i got mine is green here that's pre-eq plus mute and that's uh i mean pre-eq here i right click and i put post fader so I want all of my effects included, um, even if I change the fader over here. So if I turn this signal down here, that means inside the DAW, it should be quieter. All right, so I'm going to show you all of that in real time. So yeah, we want all of these to be pink. We want it to be post fader. All right, so let's make these post fader. You want to make all of these hollow pink, okay? Make all of these hollow pink. How I got this set up, you could just copy the settings here, pause the video, but on my inputs, this is how I got it set up. Just ignore this local, because you know locals is just for phantom power. So if I did want to grab some vocals or something like that, I would use track 17, 17 through 24, because these tracks over here is strictly for car. But I'm going to show you how I got this set up. So that's my input. When we go over here to cars, you can see... Then I have my first 1 through 8 and 9 through 16 going through Ultranet. And that's the key because this is how you get these effects over here. You have to be here going 1 through 8 there and 9 through 16 for Ultranet, right? User ins and user outs. And you can just look and see how I got it set up here. I got a car 1 through 8 all the way down like that, right? And just in case you guys want to see everything else. This is how I got it set up. All right. All right. So you can just pause and copy those settings. The important thing is to put your cards 1 through 8 and 9 through 16 on Archernet here. One thing I want to mention is that each one of these tracks have mono or stereo depending on the, so the sound it is. So, like, I only have this 808 on stereo just because I was doing this example here. But ultimately, I will have that a mono track. So, when you click over here on the kick, we know kick should be mono. Snare, see, is stereo. Kick, I mean, clap, stereo, hi-hats. You see what I'm saying? So, depending on what type of source you got, you change this in the main output section up here right there to mono or stereo. All right? So, on vocals, of course, we want mono vocals, right? We want mono vocals. So this is how I will use it when I'm mixing. Also in Studio One, you can do the same thing. Like for here, technically I have this track in mono, which is fine, but you can actually change that to stereo if you want to. This way now you have a pan. See that? So 
Yes, this type of sound source, I will probably have stereo. All right. Even if you're recording, it could be stereo. It just depends on what you want, what you're trying to do, and how you like the sound. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all my record tracks. So I'm going to take this off like that, and I just want to record the first track like this. And make sure when you're recording that you don't have the monitoring turned on because that will be a problem for you. It's going to be ugly, horrible, screechy sounds. You don't want that clipping. Just make sure that monitoring is turned off. All you want on is this record button, right? All right, so as we record, I'm going to move this track one down here by that first record. So when you so you guys can see as it's recording, everything that I'm doing to the X32 effects is is taking place here. Just like I showed you in my Pro Tools uh, video. If you want to check that out, if you use Pro Tools, I already did this exact tutorial inside of Pro Tools. So you can guys you can check that out in the card up up top right there. I'll drop the card in. Record. All right, we can see the volume there. Let's see right see it's so low it's barely picking up any signal y'all see how it's changing real time right all right let's turn it down about there now if we go to dynamics i got it super squashed here with no gain so it's squashing it let's give it gain you see guys all of that is recording in i'll take that out let's do eq you see, I have all the frequencies being cut there. You can see it applying to the audio real time. So this is working. Oh, I want to check plugins though. Let's go back. Let's leave those active and then let's apply a plugin and see what happens. So you can see, and when you add a plug-in, it's working. So this is what we want. All right. So you can see all of that is working there. All right. So I'm going to leave this template here for you guys to be able to do the same thing. Also, you know, if you want to, you can just highlight all of these and record them at the same time. Once your mix is done, you got your plug-in set up. You got each track EQ'd and whatnot, the way that you like and the way that you want or whatever. So you good to go. Also, on my board, I have remote mode active and it's working just fine. So if you guys need to learn how to use your remote inside of Studio One, even with this setup, I'll link a video to that right up at the top. The official way, though, not to use all 32 tracks since we only using 16 tracks. So in this sense, we will use the official way to run that remote. OK, I'll leave it in the card up top for you guys to check that out. So do your thing, have fun, like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you out. But like I said, y'all, I'm going to leave it down in the description for you to download for free. It's on my website. And yes, you do have to sign up to get it, but it's only to keep track of what you purchase or either download from my site. Okay, so all you need to do, once you download the Behringer scene, you just click here on load here. And wherever you put it at, where you downloaded it at, this is mine. It's called 16 Channel Effects or whatever. Select Open. And then Bow. It'll change everything. Mine didn't change because I'm already there. So just so you guys can see it's working, I'll use something else. So let me do my board record settings. Well, see that? So it just changed the whole scene. It also changes your routing. See? Routing is different here. See how my alternate is green, so things are different on that particular one because I don't use alternate, but yeah, that's how you do it. So you just hit here, load, uh, wherever you put it, and select it, and bam, it do it for you. All right. Once you download the Studio One template, you go here to Documents, click on Studio One, Templates, Version 5, Songs, copy and paste it right in. And then when you open Studio One, you'll select New Song, go over here to User, 
and it'll be right over here. So that's this X32 effects plus plugin 16 channel. Then you select your sample rate or whatever, your BPM, you know. And I like 32 bit, but hit OK. And there we are. All right. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.